time you come really is fantastic. It seems to be so far away at one stage, and I just can't believe, to be honest, we're all here. Um, I just want to welcome, first of all, our speakers over here, May Robinson, who has uh, done us such an honor by accepting our invitation to launch this book. Um, May Robinson was obviously involved with the breaking of the trust, uh, 1963 Settlement Trust, Dad signed up to it, never thinking he was going to have all the daughters that he had. So Mary Robinson acted as senior counsel, actually, um, in the late 80s, um, and that's really where he pushed through, uh, for, um, he took a private bill really through the door, and um, before Mary Robinson became president, um, she acted as senior counsel on that. But I'm going to let Mary tell you a little bit about that, seeing as she was there. Margaret Adams here, who is long-term town councillor, 40 years she's been a town councillor in Westport. Her family actually grew up on the, the Bob Gate Lodge, um, six generations of her family. <coughs> she's been a huge support to the estate um, in her 40 years as a town councillor. I mean, she's always been a town councillor to pick up the phone, any other family really, and she's just been hugely supportive to us. Um, Nora Herity here, everybody knows, really. Um, 43 years, I think, um, probably seems like 99. Um, 43 years, really, with us um, in the family. Um, has worked from the very beginning, joined us, really, working in the gift shop downstairs. And literally, within about five minutes, um, was dragged out to put on a bikini, um, uh, promoting the new zoo. But anyway, she's been <laughs> Anyway, now I'd just like to really get on to the, the book, which is just such a fantastic thing. As you all know, Dad, um, 18 months ago we got some bad news, like with its most families in the end at some point or another. Um, and we actually did think we lost him, to be honest, last May. After he recovered from that, he came out of it and really was put under awful pressure to put this book together from just about everybody who came in the door. And he wrote the book and then said to me, well, I'd love you to, to, to do some editing on this. So I, I went off and actually did spend a long time editing it. Um, and then afterwards he said, well, I think I'm going to use my version anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, actually, I think you should just call it, I did it my way. <laughs> but uh, now, actually, I'm just so glad um, it is his version. And I think anyone who knows him will realise straight away that it is actually like somebody has turned the reporter on, and it is like him just telling the stories that he's put in the book. Um, really, the book is mainly for the people of Westport. The families in Westport who've been obviously uh, go way back to my grandfather's time, and before that, um, some of the people were inherited through the sixth Marquis, in fact, some of the maintenance men. I mean, the six mile was obviously all about the, the kind of roof and fixing the gutters, and it was all about that kind of thing, the nitty gritty. So he uh, really got together a team of people like the Doyles, uh, Pat McLaughlin, Hugh Doyle, um, 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 the Burks, um, Hugh Doyle. Anyway, there's, there's a whole load of them that are there that were the old maintenance crew that um, became full time and was <coughs> such a help, really, from the beginning. Um, then there's all the staff, um, people like Nora Herity, Tommy Herity, um, Anne Colbert, Mary McNeela, um, Eileen Fahey, who have been just involved really along the way through all the ups and downs, through thicks and thins, have become real friends to the family and have been hugely supportive um, to my parents um, in the last couple of years really, especially, you know, with everything that's been going on and in the business just all the ups and downs and they're always there um, and he jumps around and I think the stories in the book really are the stories that he wants us to remember that are important for him <coughs> for us to remember and they vary a lot um, some ups and some downs um, he also talks of course about the love of his life Jennifer mm -hmm. who um, he said <coughs> he said he was lucky in love and that is absolute fact he was. Um, he obviously married very young, he inherited his place very young. I mean, he was basically had no choice really. I mean, his mother, um, we, we always joke about this, and I remember her telling me herself actually, she said the most exciting things, thing that happened in Westport was it was a spider across the 
Brown, she hated really living here, because she obviously came from London. And she said she used to go up to the wall garden and just scream at the top of the boys every now and then, and that kind of got through. But she really gave Dad the ultimatum when he was 22 to, to come back to Westport. He said, look, do you want this place or not? Uh, he was the only son, obviously. Um, do you want this place or not? Because if you don't, we're gone anyway, kind of thing. So he did come back, and he, it hits himself in the book, really, that he thought that within about five years, he'd have it all sorted out, um, and all the problems of the estate figured out. It was obviously all about farming then, and he came back and realized that it had to, something radical had to happen. And so he opened the doors of the house in 1960. And then all the developments that happened since then are obviously accounted for in the book. Um, there's a few people I just want to thank, obviously. Liam Lyons, thank you so much. All, nearly all Liam Lyons photographs in the book. Any of the photographs that aren't printed are Liam Lyons'. Um, and there's a real mix of some real fun ones. And Liam Lyons goes way back. Um, to the early 60s uh, with Dad, so he was always called, he never knew quite what he was called for, and it did vary a lot from a llama going in the front door to, you know, pinky rabbits and um, all sorts of things. Um, I, I just think that Mum obviously has always been um, there in the background. Um, she's obviously played a huge part um, in the last 50 years, and it's been without her. I don't think anyone would have, I don't think any of us would still be here today, I mean that. She, she is a power strength in the background, and um, he obviously talked about her in the book. And um, the other people I just want to briefly thank on this are Barry Murphy, um, fantastic design, I think, in the end, with the book. And um, it just came together really nicely, I think, in the end. And also Biddy Hughes, I'd like to just give a special thanks to Biddy, who was a huge support to me during the production of this book. Um, really, I, I just think anyone in Westport is going to really appreciate this book. I think it is about the people of Westport, and I'd say every single person in Westport is going to recognize somebody in this book. Um, you know, because there's so many families involved, you know, there's four star photographs in this, which obviously have about 60 people in each, so, you know, it kind of records the different times and who was there and when, and some of the people, of course, are in all the photographs, getting grayer and grayer. <laughs>